So the Xbox 360 is definitely still worth getting today. The reasons why is because not only nostalgia, but backwards compatibility on the newest Xboxes still aren't 100% there. And all the games that I actually want to play on the Xbox is all the backwards games and the games that just aren't backwards compatible with the Xbox Series X. These are games such as SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 has an awesome GM mode and I can't actually play this on the latest Xboxes. Even games like the Need for Speed series, like I can't play it on the latest Xbox Series X. X-Men Legends, Marvel's Ultimate Alliance, I can't play that on the latest Xbox. So this is why I feel like the Xbox 360 is still worth it today to play these games that I grew up with that I love personally. It's all up to taste as well as what you grew up with in the past. See, this console is the Xbox 360e, which was released in 2013. So it is just 10 years old now. And that's the one that I probably recommend the most out of most of these Xbox 360s is because it is one of the later models of the Xbox 360 series. It was just released just as the Xbox One was released. So that's why I recommend it. It is one of the latest models. The only problem is these controllers. So it just shows a little bit of rust over time, as you can see. But overall, it's a decent controller and the console will still be in decent condition because it's only a decade old while some of the Xbox 360s are a little bit older. So you can get an Xbox 360 for about $100, $150 max now. So it's definitely worthwhile getting it. And in these secondhand electronic stores, you got a wide range of all these games that you can just pick up for really cheap. Like I picked up Crash Nitro Kart for like $10. And you know, that's hours of fun. And we've got a mix of just original Xbox games and Xbox 360 games. For me personally, I still feel like it is definitely worth getting an Xbox 360 just because of the nostalgia, the memories. You know, it's not gonna be for everyone. Not everyone grew up with the Xbox 360, but I definitely did. Reasons why I love the Xbox 360 were just the games, for example, like found the games to be more simplistic, easier to get into. You don't have to wait for download times for installing the game. Pretty much slide the disc in and you're instantly playing it. Xbox multiplayer modes were fantastic. That was a big thing. That was a notable part of the Xbox 360 line and probably why it was more popular than the PlayStation. PlayStation 3 for most of its lifetime. In terms of other things, I just like the library. Like some of these games are still playable to this day, like Star Wars The Force Unleashed. That's a great game to get for the Xbox 360. Even games like Skyrim were games that were on the Xbox 360 and that started the whole Xbox 360 line there with the Skyrim line. I played that game for hours. I played FIFA Street quite a lot on the Xbox 360 and I just found that game to be a lot of fun as well. And I looked at my profile of the most played games. FIFA Street was up there. Skyrim was definitely up there. And there's just a whole bunch of games that still haven't played that I want to go back to and play. Need for Speed Underground, like I played that on the PlayStation 2 so long, like it was such a great game and I complete the full story and I love like the full storyline. I love just the gameplay of that game. It is just so much fun. And that's why I want to revisit some of these games. You know, it's nostalgia. There's something special about nostalgia, like sort of replicate. And that's why it's special to me, especially with gaming, you know, we grew up playing games and sometimes you want to revisit these games. Sometimes I go and play older Pokemon games, you know, so that's why I feel like for me, the Xbox 360 holds its value. For a lot of other people, just the Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S will be totally fine, but I can't play some of the games that I actually want to play on those consoles. So I have to get myself an Xbox 360 to be able to play these consoles. So I feel like that's its main value today is just you can play games on it that you actually want to play. It's a great console with a lot of great games, a fun library. It's a shame that the Xbox Live Store is sort of closing down because I feel like it holds a lot of memories to a lot of people, but I'm still excited to definitely play it. So, so yeah, let's get playing it.
Welcome to the city of Fairhaven, home to the most intense street racing on the planet. Ten drivers rule these streets. Always on the run from the cops, they drive the best cars and dominate the city. They are the most wanted. Start the race, pull up to the checkpoint and spin your wheels. digital age. This film had to be processed, analyzed, and delivered all by hand. Our dog in the fight is a guy named Jonas Savimbi. <laughs> they want our fight! We give them a fight! Move out! Mason, you copy? Go ahead, Hudson. FBLA forces advancing on your position about one click north. Here we go! Remy's leading a counter charge. What about Woods? Do we have confirmation on his location? They've been moving him from one location to another. We expect some Remy's men to report back soon. Fight! Where is he? 
He's being held captive by a Nicaraguan gunrunner. A very dangerous man. Where? About two miles north. He's on a transport barge on the Tupango River. He may already be dead. Let's go, Hudson! Hello, everybody. It's Martin Tyler. It's my name, Alan Smith. It's his name alongside me. And we're hoping to bring you some fine action from this game today. And today, it's Manchester City against Barcelona. Just a bit of a, a lapse in Manchester City. Remember in 13-14, the they were champions. They won the League Cup in England as well. Ended up with no silverware the following season. And suggestion that the side was rather growing old together. Well, it's always a danger. They've certainly collected some world-class players in their pursuit of success. But Rakitic, goalkeeper hangs on. 